There has been a lot of crypto news going viral recently, but two separate pieces of prominent news that has been in wide circulation caught our attention. First, we have the Bitcoin Lightning Torch event, which is also known as the LN Trust Chain. What is this Bitcoin Lightning Torch event? What is the purpose of this event and what objective does it aim to accomplish? The other popular news is the launching of JP Morgan Coin. The CEO of JP Morgan, Jamie Dimon, is well known in the crypto community as the bankster calling Bitcoin a fraud. So is JPM Coin a cryptocurrency set to challenge Bitcoin and its sidechain scaling solution, the Lightning Network? In this report, we will cover these two well-talked-about news and we will attempt to answer these questions. Hello YouTube, I am Eugene with Blockchain360. If you find these two topics interesting, I highly encourage you to watch to the end of this video. For the main story, here are the top 5 popular crypto news. Indonesia has finally recognized Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as commodities. This changes Indonesia's status to be in amongst the group of countries that neutrally accept Bitcoin. We see two possible good reasons for this new change of stance. Firstly, the Indonesian government would want Indonesia to be more competitive in fintech. Besides that, the Indonesian government would then be in a better position to regulate the exchanges that deal with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. In a statement, the Indonesian Trade Ministry Futures Exchange Supervisory Board highlighted that the exchanges dealing with crypto will need to adhere to the new set of rulings that regulate these exchanges. The ministry states that they want to provide protection to Indonesians that invest into crypto assets such that they are not cheated by fraudulent sellers. The Samsung Galaxy S10, which is due to launch in March this year, is described on Samsung's official news subdomain, which is www.news.samsung.com. It is described that the highly anticipated new phone would have four unique devices as part of this S10 line. For crypto and blockchain enthusiasts, we cannot miss the printed line that states Open inverted commas, Galaxy S10 is built with defense grade Samsung Knox as well as a secure storage backed by hardware which houses your private keys for blockchain enabled mobile services. Close quote. This printed statement ensures, assures the S10 would be owners to store their blockchain application private keys safely on the S10 phone. You can find the URL address of this webpage in the description of this video below. Google developers have added the Bitcoin currency logo as a currency option for the Google keyboard on iOS devices. It was explained by a Reddit member how this Bitcoin logo option could be activated. To use it, the Unicode would be U plus 20 capital B capital F. It is unclear why Google had developed this only for iOS devices and if Android devices will have this option in future. Elon Musk has once again raised up media attention in a podcast interview where he shared his optimistic view on Bitcoin. He gives the remark that Bitcoin structure, which he refers to the blockchain, is open code quite brilliant. Close code. He also added that cryptocurrencies being able to bypass currency controls will mean that paper money is going away. He says that he is sure that crypto is a better way than paper money to transfer value. Popular American pizza chain Domino's Pizza has endorsed Lightning Network and started accepting Bitcoin with Lightning Network payments. This is very much welcome Lightning Network adoption not only by the Bitcoin community but also by public on the whole. This payment method is made possible by the website lightning.pizza. This website is supported by foldapp.com. The website app, if tried, seems easy to use. A buyer will just need to visit 
the lightning.pizza website, then enter the US zip code the buyer is located. The Domino's chain stores will then be listed, then the buyer will choose the closest chain store. On this selection, the listed food will be shown for the buyer to add to the chart. The buyer makes the payment with Bitcoin through the Lightning network. After the payment, the delivery status of the order is provided to the buyer. With this development, is increasing number of buyers to Domino's Pizza through Lightning.Pizza. Another interesting find for us is that on the FullApp.com website, which is the company that supports Lightning.Pizza, we see that Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts is shown to be stores to be able to be accepting Bitcoin as well soon. We will have to wait to see if this will come true. Now for the main story. In January 19th of this year, a Bitcoin Lightning enthusiast with the Twitter handle name of Hodronaut started a Bitcoin Lightning Torch event also known as hashtag LN Trust Chain by initially convincing 150 Bitcoin community members to take part in Bitcoin Lightning tipping game. This grassroots event, which initially had not much attention, had the effect of gathering more and more attention as it worked like an email chain level event. The idea of LN Trust Chain is simple. People who receive the Bitcoin Lightning Torch payment will add in 10,000 Satoshis to the Torch amount. After that, the Torch barrier will invite another person on Twitter he or she trusts. This receiver then repeats by adding another 10,000 Satoshis and seeks for the next possible and trustable Torch barrier. This will go on until the Torch reaches a maximum of 2.2 Bitcoins. Hot or not, started the Torch with 100,000 Satoshis and continues to shepherd the entire event. It is never clear if this final cap of 2.2 Bitcoins will ever be reached as the Torch can be capped by any node with further passing at any time. The purpose of this event is to experiment on the trustworthiness and also on the Bitcoin mining itself, since the torch has to travel through many countries. It has just been more than one month since the Bitcoin Lightning Torch has started, but more than 200 torch barriers have joined this list of individuals who have received and passed on the Bitcoin Lightning Torch. Amongst them are renowned individuals in the crypto community. They include Andreas Antonopoulos, Elizabeth Stark of Lightning Labs, Jack Dorsey of Twitter, Eric Voorhees of Shapeshift, Chang Ping Zhao, who is Binance CEO, Anthony Pompliano, and Samsung Mao. Movie and TV star from Star Trek. William Shatner has shown interest in being a torch barrier. This is shown in his tweet on Twitter. In an interview with Holonaut by Crypto Insider, Hodlonaut did express that he hopes that the torch will be passed to Elon Musk and Joe Rogan. Some enthusiasts are already making good efforts to contact these two celebrities so to invite them to join. As of the time we made this video, there is no news so far that both Elon Musk and Joe Rogan will be participating. Although not did express in the interview that shepherding this torch is not easy. There were two times where individuals wanted to keep the Bitcoin torch and not want to pass on. They still did after much persuasion from other community members monitoring the torch. It is hoped by Hildonaut that the Bitcoin Torch ends up at BTC Venezuela, which is a humanitarian aid foundation. So many has found this Bitcoin Lightning Torch event to be meaningful and having good purpose. What are your thoughts on this event? Do you think it will grow and gain more support? Do you think it will ever hit its maximum capacity of 2.2 Bitcoins and ultimately end up in Venezuela as humanitarian aid? Please comment below. In this video, we also want to highlight the report on JP Morgan launching its own supposed cryptocurrency JPM coin. In a Forbes article that covers such a report, 
it is mentioned that on Valentine's Day, JP Morgan has expressed its intention to launch its cryptocurrency JPM coin. This crypto, so it claims to be, will be the first cryptocurrency created by a major US bank. JPM coin is a stable coin since it is pegged to the US dollar. It is used to transfer cross-border payments and to facilitate corporate debt service payments. JP Morgan believes that this coin will serve to impact the fintech industry. The Forbes article goes on to question if JPM coin is at all a cryptocurrency. It explains that JPM coin is a token from closed blockchain and users need permission to be using the system or coin. Unlike Bitcoin and Ethereum, which is an open blockchain, JPM coin is restricted to its limited clients and customers only. The article also goes on to explain that the blockchain system which the JPM coin is delivered from is from the blockchain system called Curum. Because it is closed and the author of this Forbes article says it would not be a cryptocurrency. Personally, I do not really agree on this claim by the Forbes article that JPM coin is not a cryptocurrency just because it is a token from a closed blockchain. From my personal opinion and my past blockchain studies, tokens from any blockchain are still tokens. If then token perform like currencies, then it is still a cryptocurrency but restricted to people who would require permission to use it. I do agree with the article however that its purpose is limited and questionable. It may be for the purpose of an internal payment purpose or possibly for press coverage. To end off this report section, we can conclude that the purpose of the JPM coin is questionable as it is not decentralized and is limited for users who are given the permission to use it. It will not build trust like Bitcoin as JPM coin is centralized. Therefore, it of no threat to Bitcoin or the publicity which Bitcoin Lightning Torch aims to gather. Both news pieces are separate, so JPM coin though has gathered much attention, will not steal any attention from the Bitcoin Lightning Torch. We foresee JPM coin attention will probably die down later, while Bitcoin Lightning Torch, if the list of barriers continues to grow, will continue to gather further attention from the media. Before we end off this video, we would like to highlight that we will be testing the new BC Trader. Founders of BitClub have announced that it will be ready for launching probably in a few weeks. It is reported that the testing of this BC Trader shows its performance is such that investors can earn somewhere between 10% to 20% monthly of their capital. Furthermore, it is safe as it uses the API key for remote trading of investors' third-party accounts such as Bitrix or Binance. Once our testing results are out, we will post the results in our future weekly videos. With our results, you then can evaluate if it is potentially be a income system for your considerations. Therefore, please stay tuned for our weekly reports that we will start publishing soon. We hope you have liked our video. If so, it would be great if you could smash the thumbs up button. If you have any opinions, please share your comments below. Until the next video, have a fantastic week ahead. Blockchain 360